必殺一億ピクセル。くそ、これが一億ピクセルの力か。超必殺、二千プラス百二十ヘルツ。With the gradual popularization of 5G, people have more and more requirements for smartphones. In the past few years, mobile phone manufacturers have been devoting their energy to cameras, competing with each other in the number of cameras and pixels. But now, the screen seems to be a new battlefield. OnePlus is undoubtedly a forward-thinking company that has been putting a lot of effort into the screen since last year. This OnePlus 8 Pro. The latest flagship of OnePlus comes with the first feeling from its screen. You can see the screen-to-body ratio is quite satisfactory, but the curvature is smaller than that of the ordinary curved screen. Some people may prefer this change because it reduces the possibility of accidental touch. Next is the glass on the back. This color is officially called the glacial green. I really like the color and the texture. Because it's durable and comfortable, but this phone itself, it gives me a sharp feeling. It may be the reason for the curved screen. In terms of camera, OnePlus 8 Pro also uses the rear full camera center design. After all, full cameras seem to be a standard configuration in this era. Mobile phones without full cameras are even embarrassed to say that they are flagships. But the protruding camera is still a common problem. When you touch it, you can clearly feel its sharp edges. The weight of this phone is also a highlight worth mentioning. Its bare metal weighs only 199 grams, which is much lighter than most flagship phones. And the feeling of holding is indeed very thin and light. In terms of hardware configuration, OnePlus 8 Pro represents one of the best flagship configurations this year. Snapdragon 865, LPDDR5, UFS3, and the Wi-Fi 6. OnePlus has always been a company that emphasizes user experience, and each new machine released by OnePlus is almost the top hardware configuration at that time. In the case where other hardware is already top notch, OnePlus has really made the 6.78 inch pupil screen top level this time. At the same time, OnePlus is now the only two cell phones on the market that can enable 120 hertz and 2K plus at the same time. The other one is Oppo Find X2 Pro. Needless to say, the benefits of a high refresh rate of 120 hertz are numerous. For users who are used to 60 hertz, every swiping click can be said to be a kind of enjoyment, especially when swiping some social apps. But 120 hertz also need the cooperation of animation to be more smooth. If the animation is not smooth, then 120 hertz is useless. In order to make full use of the 120 hertz refresh rate, OnePlus added MEMC Dynamic Compensation Technology. Through the algorithm to insert frames in the video, so that the low frame rate can be turned into the high frame rate. This is a good attempt in technology, but in actual operation, this technology is difficult to adapt to some complex lenses. There's still a lot of room for optimization in dynamic frame insertion. After all, the frame complement is not as natural as the original. In addition, the shortcoming of 120 hertz is also obvious. That is the battery life. Which doesn't show much difference in some light applications such as social apps, but it is very obvious in the game task. 120 hertz will almost double the power consumption. In terms of taking photos, OnePlus 8 Pro has a double 4800W pixel customized IMX 689 and 8 million telephoto lens, as well as a 5 million auxiliary lens. It can satisfy most of the shooting scenes and has improved a lot with the previous generation. The animation of Hydrogen OS is still very smooth. The experience is simple and light, and it maintains an original style. Stereo dual speakers, standard on many flagship models, have naturally been added to the OnePlus 8 Pro. The actual experience is impressive. About charging, 30 watts while charging, 30 watts wireless charging, and 4510 mAh battery. Wired charging is indeed weaker than other flagships, but the battery life is sufficient to deal with this 120 hertz screen.
In short, the comprehensive level of this phone is already the top flagship machine, and it almost has everything you want to see on a flagship. As for whether it's worth the price, it may depend on your own judgment.